Now, speaking of coronavirus regulations, Israeli officials easing restrictions nearly every day. But many experts increasingly arguing that most regulations are irrelevant and should therefore be scrapped altogether. Immunologist from Hebrew University, Professor Tzvika Gonot, here with more. Professor, thank you so much for joining us. Now, analysts uh, from, like Sheba Medical's Professor Gali Arav say that between the widespread receipt of vaccines and the unreliability of antigen tests, the Green Pass certificate and related restrictions are a farce. How do you respond? Well, in a sense, she's absolutely right. But I think that the Green Pass is a farce for a long time now. From the moment that we realized that people that are fully vaccinated can still get infected and can still spread uh, coronavirus, really, the Green Pass doesn't provide you with any sense of protection. You can imagine the situ a situation where you go into a place that enforces the Green Pass and you feel that you're secure because everyone was vaccinated and will not uh, get infected and will not infect you. But that is really not the case. So the validity of the Green Pass has expired a long time ago. So is it, is it overkill then? Should we just ease everything or should we get more strict? I think that um, the horses have left, left the stable a long time ago. You, you look around you and you see that um, the, there are the queues to the uh, testing uh, facilities and uh, the amount of people that get uh, into isolation. Uh, they're incredible. This spreads like a wildfire. There's nothing we can do to stop it at this moment. And we just need to brace ourselves for uh, this pandemic that's going to hit us right now. And this is uh, not necessarily bad news. It seems that the Omicron is really highly infective and it really spreads like wildfire. But um, at the same time, it's not, it's not as aggressive. And we don't see a dramatic increase in the numbers of people that are um, seriously ill. So perhaps this is our way of really getting true herd immunity and, and seeing the end of this pandemic. All right, now, not, not just in Israel, but all over the world. There are other virologists and experts who, who are claiming that we should ease up just on, on the demand for testing globally in order to avoid overstressing laboratories uh, and, and supplies. Wouldn't you agree that the current policies uh, should, be, should be eased globally then? I, I believe so. I think that when you get a, a respiratory virus, you cannot really contain it. You cannot close the world. The world has become really uh, a very small village. And once there's a, there's a variant that appears in South Africa within a week, it spreads uh, throughout the world. So. Everyone should take the same uh, precautions and, you know, sick people should stay at home. But other than that, I think all the restrictions should be lifted. And uh, since we cannot do much about it, we just we can just let people go on with their normal lives and um, just hope that not too many people get seriously ill. So, all right, I, I know this is maybe backtracking a bit, but which restrictions then are effective in preventing the spread of the virus? Which would you maybe uh, suggest be our bare minimum requirement? So the bare minimum requirement is protection of the susceptible population, meaning the elderly and uh, people with comorbidities. So for example, where you go to a, um, uh, um, a place where there are uh, the elderly, like elderly houses and, uh, and um, um, uh, geriatric wards in, in the hospitals, these places should be protected more uh, stringently, meaning you cannot go into these places without getting tested. Why? Because these people are, are really susceptible. But keeping the kids away from school, that doesn't make any sense. They don't get seriously ill. They get very mild symptoms. Um, this is completely unnecessary. And at this point in time, there are tens of thousands of uh, children that are at home. They are perfectly healthy and uh, not going to school, missing out on a lot of things socially, educationally, and this doesn't make any sense. All right. Professor Tzvika Grenot, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.